Today it's going to be Vim in 5 minutes. No hour-long config files or long-winded explanations, just a quick and dirty set of tips to go from beginner to not beginner. First lesson, quitting Vim. Press the escape key a couple of times to exit whatever mode you're in, then colon and Q and enter, and you're out. If you have modified the file, then it won't let you do that. You get a warning instead to exit anyway. Hit colon and Q, then exclamation mark, or damn it, as some of us call it, and then hit enter. If you do want to save your changes or write the file, instead we need to do a colon and a W and then Q, and after all that, hit enter. Now Vim has modes it can switch between, like command mode, which we just used. And you switch into these modes by pressing a modifier key like colon and switch out of that mode by pressing escape. The mode you will be most interested in is append or insert mode. And we get into this by hitting the A key. When in insert mode, anything you type will just be printed at the cursor location. To exit insert mode, hit escape. Also important is visual mode, which we get into by hitting V. In visual mode, moving around the screen will cause anything after the cursor to be highlighted as shown. Once something's highlighted, we can copy it by pressing the Y key, which stands for yank in Vimland. We then move the cursor to where we want to paste the copied text and press P. Easy. To undo our last action, we can hit U. While we are undoing, let's also do some deleting. We can delete an entire row of text by hitting double D or DD. We can delete character by character by hitting the X key. If you need to edit a long file, you can jump to the last line by hitting capital G. To jump back to the beginning, press GG. To perform a search in Vim, we need to press another modifier key, the forward slash, then type in the search term and press enter. You can then cycle through the results by pressing simple or capital N. Now let's look at some more Vim commands. Get into command mode by pressing colon, then start typing EXP and then press tab, and Vim should autocomplete your answer to explore. Hitting enter should bring up a nice little file browser. We can do something similar to pull up Vim's color schemes. Start typing color and then hit tab to autofill color scheme. Then press space and tab again to list out the available schemes. Tab lets you cycle through them and enter applies each one. All right, guys, final step will be setting up a simple Vim configuration file or the .vimrc file. This goes in your home directory and tells Vim which defaults to load up. I've set up some simple values like the default color scheme. Feel free to pause the video here and set this up for yourself. One nice little rule I've added is switching mouse control on, which as you can see, lets me move the cursor around with the mouse. This speeds up editing quite a lot for me. Rightio guys, hope that made Vim a little less weird for you. As always, like and subscribe if you want more of this lot. Until next time.